Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up and mounting Amazon's Elastic File System. In this tutorial series, we will go over creating an Elastic File System, and we'll also create an EC2 server that we can use to mount the EFS to our server. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a file system. And we have to make sure that we are in Oregon as well, because this is the only place where EFS is currently available. Um, so we're going to select our VPC, and we'll select all availability zones for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete these default security groups that they provide, and we're going to select uh, one that I've created called internal only, and I'll show you the settings for that uh, later on in this video. Um, and what we'll do is we'll click next step. And we don't need to add any tags here. And all we're going to do is we're going to click Create File System. And so you'll notice here that the file system is currently creating. And this will soon become available. So now let's go ahead and launch an EC2 server. We will choose Ubuntu. A T2 Micro is fine. And we're going to make sure it's in US West 2A because this is the availability zone we are going to mount our EFS from. 8 gigs is fine. We'll tag this as EFS Tutorial. And our security group, we are going to select a wide open security group. But remember, our EFS drives are in the internal only, which is all on the internal network of 172.30. So I have everything all open to that network. So we'll go ahead and click launch and we're going to use a key pair that I've already created. So now that our server is online, we can go ahead and log into it. We're going to sudo up. And all we're going to run is app get update and we are going to install NFS common. So now that that's installed, we can go ahead and go get the IP address of our EFS system. So you'll notice that this server, again, is in US West 2A. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to EFS, and we're going to pick the IP address that's in US West 2A. And so you'll notice that this is still on the 172.30 network, which is the internal only security group that I created. So what we'll do is we'll go over to our, our server, we're going to go into the mount directory and we're just going to make a directory called EFS. You can see that EFS is in here and what we're going to do is we're going to mount that IP address to the EFS folder that we just created. So what we'll do is we'll click enter and we had a successful mount as long as you didn't have any errors and if we df-h we can see that we have our volume mounted on mount slash EFS and it's mounted to that IP address. So this concludes our tutorial on setting up and mounting Amazon's Elastic File System. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.